Ever wondered how you can grow your own sustainable garden and raise fish at the same time all in one cycle? Welcome to the fascinating world of aquaponics, a unique blend of aquaculture and hydroponics. This innovative system allows you to harness the best of both worlds, creating a symbiotic relationship between plants and fish. Imagine having a thriving ecosystem right in your backyard or even indoors, where colorful fish and lush, verdant plants coexist in harmony. The secret? A clever recycling of resources. Fish waste, which is usually discarded in traditional aquaculture, is converted into nutrients for the plants through a process known as nitrification. This not only provides a sustainable source of nutrition for your plants, but also keeps the water clean for the fish. Aquaponics is not just about sustainability and water efficiency, it's also about the sheer joy of harvesting both fresh produce and fish from your own system. Intrigued? Let's dive deeper into this fascinating world. Aquaponics operates on a simple yet ingenious cycle. A beautiful symbiosis between aquatic life and plant life, this self-sustaining system is a marvel of ecological harmony. So let's dive in and discover the magic behind it all. At the heart of every aquaponic system are three key components, the fish tank, the grow bed, and the process of nitrification. Each component plays a crucial role in the cycle, and understanding them will bring us a step closer to creating our own thriving system. First up, the fish tank. It's not just a home for our fishy friends, it's the starting point of the cycle. The fish live, eat, and naturally produce waste. Now this might not sound too appealing, but in the world of aquaponics, it's pure gold. The next stop on our journey is the grow bed. Nestled above the fish tank, the grow bed is where our plants take root. But the plants aren't just growing in any old dirt, they're anchored in a special media like expanded clay or gravel that helps filter the water and provides a habitat for beneficial bacteria. Now let's talk about these bacteria. They're the unsung heroes of our system, facilitating the nitrification process. This is where the magic really happens. The bacteria convert the ammonia from the fish waste into nitrites and then into nitrates, a form of nitrogen that plants can absorb and use as food. But that's not the end of the story. The water, now cleaned by the plants and bacteria, is recirculated back into the fish tank, creating a closed loop system. It's a perfect example of nature's efficiency at work. And there you have it. A simple cycle, yet so brilliantly effective. From the fish tank to the grow bed, and through the process of nitrification, aquaponics transforms waste into a resource, creating a vibrant, self-sustaining ecosystem. By harnessing nature's own processes, aquaponics creates a perfect harmony between fish and plants. It's a testament to the beauty of natural cycles and the potential they hold for sustainable living. So, are you ready to dive into the world of aquaponics? Now let's meet the stars of the show, the fish and plants that make aquaponics possible. In an aquaponic system, these living components work together in a beautiful symbiotic relationship. On one side, we have the fish. They're more than just pretty faces in this setup. Species like tilapia or goldfish are often chosen for their hardiness and rapid growth. The waste they produce is a key part of the system, serving as a natural fertilizer for the plants. Speaking of plants, let's talk about the other half of this dynamic duo. Aquaponic systems can support a wide variety of vegetation. Leafy greens and herbs, for instance, are popular choices due to their compatibility with the nutrient-rich water. These plants in turn filter and clean the water, creating a healthy environment for the fish. It's a real team effort. Each component supports the other, creating a self-sustaining cycle. With the right mix of plants and fish, your aquaponic system can be a vibrant self-sustaining ecosystem. Ready to start your own aquaponics adventure? Here are some things to consider. First and foremost, location is key. You'll want a spot with ample sunlight for your plants, but also consider the temperature for your fish. Too much direct sunlight could make the water too warm. A greenhouse or a spot with partial shade can strike the right balance. Next, consider the size of your system. If you're just starting out, a smaller setup might be easier to manage. A 50-gallon fish tank, for example, can support a grow bed of around 5 square feet. As you gain experience, you might choose to expand. Now let's talk about balance. The beauty of aquaponics lies in its synergy. Your fish and plants depend on each other. The fish produce waste, which bacteria convert into nutrients for the plants. In turn, the plants clean the water for the fish. Striking the right balance between fish and plant life is crucial for a healthy system. As a general rule, you'll want about one pound of fish for every five to 10 gallons of water. Water quality is another vital aspect. 
regularly test the water's pH level, which should ideally be between 6 and 7 for most plants and fish. Also, keep an eye on the levels of ammonia, nitrites and nitrates to ensure your fish are healthy and your plants are getting the nutrients they need. Finally, remember that patience is key. It may take a few weeks for your system to cycle and for bacteria to establish themselves, but once everything is running smoothly, you'll be rewarded with fresh, homegrown produce and fish. With these basics in mind, you're well on your way to creating your own aquaponic system. For those who love a good project, why not build your own aquaponic system at home? Starting your own aquaponics journey can be an exciting adventure. And the best part is, you don't need a lot of space or a big budget to get started. A simple system can be put together using readily available materials and a little bit of ingenuity. In the heart of every aquaponic system is the fish tank and the grow bed. You can use a standard aquarium for your fish tank. The size will depend on your space and the number of fish you plan to raise. As a rule of thumb, 20 gallons is a good starting point for beginners. The grow bed, where your plants will live, can be a simple container filled with a neutral medium like clay pebbles or perlite. This bed should be positioned above your fish tank so that gravity can return the cleaned water back to the fish. Connecting these two is a pump that carries water from the fish tank up to the grow bed. This pump is the heart of your system, circulating water and ensuring that both your fish and plants receive the nutrients they need. Next, you'll need to set up a bell siphon in your grow bed. This ingenious device regulates the flow of water, ensuring that your plants are not constantly submerged. It allows the grow bed to fill with water, then quickly drains it back into the fish tank, creating a cycle that mimics nature's ebb and flow. Once your system is assembled, it's time to add life. Start with hardy fish like goldfish or tilapia, and easy-to-grow plants like lettuce or herbs. Remember, balance is key. Too many fish can lead to excessive waste and poor water quality, while too many plants can deprive your fish of necessary nutrients. The final step is to monitor and adjust. Your system will need a few weeks to establish a balanced ecosystem. Regularly test your water for pH, ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate levels to ensure optimal conditions for your fish and plants. With a little time and effort, you can create a thriving aquaponics system right in your own home. The beauty of DIY aquaponics is that it's a living, evolving project that rewards your care and attention with a bounty of fresh produce and the joy of nurturing life. Across the globe, people are discovering the benefits of aquaponics. In the heart of New York City, an urban farmer transformed a rooftop into a thriving aquaponics garden, providing fresh fish and greens to local restaurants. On the other side of the world, a rural community in Kenya has embraced aquaponics, improving food security, and creating jobs for locals. High school students in Australia built an aquaponics system in their science class, gaining hands-on knowledge about sustainable farming. Meanwhile, a retiree in California enjoys the dual reward of rearing colorful koi and harvesting homegrown herbs from her backyard setup. These real-life stories illustrate the transformative power of aquaponics. From promoting food sustainability and creating educational opportunities, to fostering community well-being and providing a rewarding hobby, aquaponics is making a positive impact in diverse ways. These stories are just a glimpse of the potential that aquaponics holds for our future. Now, it's your turn to join the aquaponics revolution. Picture this, you're cultivating a vibrant ecosystem right in your own backyard, where lush, green plants and lively fish live in harmony. Aquaponics isn't just about growing food, it's about embracing a sustainable lifestyle, conserving water, and producing less waste. It's about nurturing a connection with nature, understanding the delicate balance of life. Imagine the thrill of watching your fish swim around, the excitement of seeing your plants grow day by day. And when you harvest your first crop, the taste of those freshly picked greens and that home-raised fish will be beyond compare. Yes, it might seem intimidating at first, but remember every journey begins with a single step, and you're not alone. A whole community of aquaponics enthusiasts is ready to support and guide you. Imagine the satisfaction of harvesting your own fresh produce and fish, all while contributing to a sustainable future. Start your aquaponics journey today.